Hey there, Guardians. Barrier champions are everywhere in Destiny 2. I'm Jug. This is Cad. We're going to show you how to kill barrier champions quickly and efficiently. A barrier champion's health is divided into sections, which you can see on its yellow health bar. When you damage near or at the threshold, the champion throws up an impenetrable shield. And if you don't break the shield, it will heal itself completely. But if you can break the shield, it will stun the champion and stop its health regen. The first way to break a shield is to use your weapon. You have to unlock anti-barrier perks from your seasonal artifact. Anti-barrier perks are shown with an open triangle and are automatically applied to any weapon with the same type. This season we have anti-barrier pulse rifles and anti-barrier sidearm. Any sidearm or pulse rifle you equip when you unlock this perk will get anti-barrier rounds automatically. Shoot it with enough anti-barrier rounds and it will break the shield. Do not hesitate. Break the barrier and burn it down. Throw your grenades, fire your heavy, burn it down with your special, PUNCH IT WITH YOUR FISTS! IT'S TITAN TIME! Wow, that... that was a lot. It's fine if you're a hunter or warlock as well. If the champion survives your first stun, simply continue to damage it until it pops the barrier, then shoot it down again. Oh, it's not going to survive, because we're going in hard and fast and leaving nothing alive. Hold on a second, I'm gonna have to res him. Destiny also has a lot of abilities that allow you to break barrier champion shields. The keywords you need to remember are Volatile, Radiant, and Unravel. Volatile rounds are a part of the Void Toolkit. By equipping the Echo of Instability Fragment, you get Volatile rounds when you generate a kill. In Season 20, we have the artifact perk Volatile Flow, which gives Volatile Rounds for just picking up orbs of power, which is nuts, because you're already doing that! This does require you to use a Void Weapon, but there are some great options like Funnel Web in your Energy Slot and Taipan in the Heavy Slot. If burning your enemies into a steaming pile of ash is your thing, becoming Radiant with the Solar subclass will give all your weapons anti-barrier rounds. Even Wither Horde! Ah, that never gets old. Equip the Ember of Torches fragment. It states that powered melee kills make you radiant. And I think we all know which classes work best on. <clears throat> Titan Hammers. Uh, what about the Hunter? Our throwing knives are just as deadly, and you can use Acrobat Dodge as a second way to become radiant. There is only one acceptable strategy here. Bonk Hammer. I hear you wanting Titans to be the best here. They're just not. Then we can agree to disagree. Titans are the master class. Moving along, we have Unravel on the new Strand subclass. The fragment you need to know is Thread of Propagation. Powered melee final blows grant your Strand unraveling rounds. And in Season 20, we have the Allied Unraveling perk in the Seasonal Artifact. Rapid final blows with a Strand weapon grants you unraveling rounds to your weapon. If you're watching this after Season 20, be sure to check your Artifact perks that give more ways to get these effects. The last way to break barriers is by using an exotic weapon. There are five exotic weapons in the game that inherently have anti-barrier capabilities. Let's start with Ariana's Vow. It is a special solar hand cannon. Perk is Looks Can Kill. This weapon fires special, sheared piercing ammunition, and it comes with a scope. This hand cannon fires special ammo and it hits like a truck. Ariana's Vow is a precise weapon for taking down barriers, and it is available from the Monument to Lost Lights. Our second, and my favorite, is Arbalist. It is a kinetic linear fusion rifle. The perk is Compounding Force. Fire slugs that cause massive damage to combatant shield. What's unique about this weapon is that it is a linear fusion in the kinetic slot, meaning you can carry a rocket, sword, whatever else you want. Arbalist is the best weapon in Destiny at breaking barrier shield. It also one-shots all elemental shields, making it the best special weapon to use in higher-end content and it's available at the Monument to Lost Lights. Coming in at number three is the Lament, which is a sword. The perk is Banshee's Wail. Hold to rev the blade. This increases the damage of the blade and adds shield piercing to all attacks. Lament can be ultra effective if you have an aggressive playstyle, like me. While it is dangerous in higher level content, make no mistake that this sword is top notch in dealing massive damage to your enemies. It's available through an exotic quest in the Beyond Light DLC. Number four is Wish Ender, a kinetic bow. The perk is Queen's Wrath. While aiming down sights with a fully drawn bow, enemies behind walls are highlighted. 
the Wish Ender is a terrorizing force. Not only will it make fighting barrier champions easy mode, the exotic perk will highlight opposing guardians in PvP, and ask PvP players. This exotic is criminally good, and it is available through an exotic quest in the Forsaken DLC. The last weapon on our list is the Revision Zero Pulse Rifle. The perk is Hunter's Trace. This weapon fires special shield piercing ammunition. Precision hits grant targeting data. Press the alternate action button to swap to the alternate scope, loading high damage rounds based on the amount of targeting data. Revision Zero is the only exotic on our list that is also craftable. We did a full breakdown of our PvE role for this weapon. Be sure to check it out in the description below. While it's not currently available, Bungie has already stated that we're bringing back the exotic mission to earn this unique weapon in Season 22. Well, Guardian, that's all the ways to kill Barrier Champions in Destiny. If you want to learn how to take down Overload and Unstoppable Champions, check out our other videos.